Uh, welcome to my channel. Hi everyone. Um, first, let me start off by saying beware, I swear. So if you're not about that life, um, this is your cue to go. All right. Uh, I am who I am. You are who you are. Uh, maybe we're just not a match. Also, I don't trigger code anything. Um, so if you're not ready for the answer, don't ask the questions. So if you're in a fragile state, maybe you guys just broke up. Um, this may not be the reading for you if you're not ready to hear the truth, the harsh truth. Because it could go your way, but it could also not. So if you like the video, make sure you like, subscribe, share. If you don't, make sure you dislike because, you know, all press is good press. <laughs> um, if it doesn't resonate, um, don't force it. Please make sure to check your moon, your rising, or any like big placements you have, or your Venus, because it's pertinent to relationship. Um, so let's get into it. Oh yeah, let me say sorry, my nail looks really fucked up. It broke off. So, um, <laughs> you notice that. <laughs> uh, you know how it is. So, my thumbnail, <laughs> jokes, I was gonna look a little fucked up in the next few videos. All right? So we're gonna get into it with Aries. This is for the people who, you know, you're no contact, whether it's an ex, whether you block them, or whatever. We're gonna see um, where their head's at, where your head's at, their intentions, actions, some advice, all right? And then I made some cards as well. We're gonna see what they would like to say to you and stuff. And some other random cards. Okay, sada, sada. Whatever will be, will be. Sorry, guys, I can't sing. But, all right. So, let's get into it. I'm going to be using the Vice Versa deck. Some regular cards. Cards I've made. Romance oracles. We'll see. Whatever I feel called to. All right. So, Aries. Let's see. If you've been no contact, we're going to look a bit at uh, the relationship before... Before the no contact, so the past. Can you give me a card? All right. Okay, what's Aries' feelings right now? Mm. You may be the one who went no contact on that one, Aries. Okay, what's your person's feelings? Okay, are you both? You both just said fuck it. Well, you're both in that fuck it. I'm not here for it energy. Um, and let's see why. Why is there no contact? Ooh, somebody is asserting themselves. All right. So we're going to look a bit more into it. So I do feel like that relationship may have not lasted that long because we got a page. Our con no contact hasn't been that long. Okay, kind of a baby situation here. Um, I do feel like somebody was very forceful and maybe spied a lot on the other person. So definitely a lack of trust here. In the past, in this relationship, what else can you tell me? Oh, there we go. Ten of Pentacles. No, Ten of Pentacles twice. There's no reversals with this. Okay, Nine of Swords. So yeah, somebody was just feeling so anxious, not sleeping at night. Um, I feel like it's the person that was spying on the other one, right? Could be vice versa. But... I do feel like you didn't trust this person or this person didn't trust you and whoever wasn't being trusted just got fed up of like the anxiety, staying up at night, trying to prove themselves all the time. Okay, um, I do feel like it was a very solid relationship with that ten of coins, get something stable. Even though it didn't last that long, I feel like for most of you, right? Um, Depth over distance, my friend. I do feel like it was very deep connection. But there was just such a lack of trust. You're not really open right now to talking to this person. Like with that ten of coins in reverse. Like your back's turned, right? 
I do feel like you're looking back on the relationship because it is somebody looking at a couple, right? So, um, I feel like for a couple of you, you're looking at them with somebody else. I feel like for most of you, you're just looking back on the relationship. Nine of Cups. You're looking back, like, focus on the positive. Ace of Pentacles. Okay, so you want to bang this person again? I know a lot of people say, like, oh, Ace of Pentacles, new beginning, oh, blah, 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 they want you back. But honestly, um, I've got even firmer in my belief that the Ace of Pentacles is just physical. Pentacles represent the physical. It's a straight up physical. There's nothing. There's no spirituality. There's no feelings attached to it. So, um, even though, like, you have feelings here with that Nine of Cups, but, like, I feel like part of you just wants to fuck them, okay? I feel like you're thinking back lovingly on some stuff, but, like, you feel like you just want to fuck them. And that's probably from that lack of trust, right? Like, you don't trust them, you still want to fuck them physically, but, like, I feel like you feel like you can't give them your heart. Okay, and then with that Knight of Cup in reverse, how they're feeling. They're feeling like, you know, they're acting a little aloof, I feel like. I feel like they care more than they want to say. See, and that Three of Wands. I feel like they might be preparing um, to come towards you. Eight of Swords. Yeah, they're feeling really lonely. So if they do approach you, I feel like it's more from a part of um, a sense of loneliness. They do miss you a lot. Okay, why there's no contact? Like, somebody's standing their ground, okay? They're standing firm. Queen of Swords here. I was going to say Pentacles. Like, uh, Queen of Swords. Um, you're just thinking with your head over your heart. Like, you know you can't trust this person. Whoever is, like, not trusting the other person um, or is not being trusted, okay? I just feel like they're just like, I'm done. They're like standing their ground. It's going to be like either you're going to be here for it or you're not. But I'm done like playing this uh, jealousy, spying game, bullshit, ten of swords, betrayal. Yeah, you feel like betrayed. Seven of pentacles. Yeah, you feel like you invested so much into this for like for nothing. For them to like not trust you. For them to just kind of turn their back on you. Yeah. All right, so that's where we're at, Aries. What's going on? Okay, we're going to pull some of these and some love oracles. And then we're going to look at their intentions, actions, advice. But let's dig a bit more into the situation. Well, these aren't too bad to shuffle, considering there's like a hundred and something of them. I know I take forever when I shuffle, but I kind of like the whole jumper or stay stuck in my hand type card. Oh, ow, my head. Haha. -ha. I do that a lot. Cards fly out. Okay, I feel like that's all they got. Okay, that wanted to come out. I do feel like that's you with that Ace of Pentacles. Like you are thinking about them in a very sexual manner. Okay, well, let's see. I want your body. What did I say? I feel like it's a very sexual connection. I feel like you are thinking about, like, pfft, booty call. I'm dead, guys. I'm dead. I'm dead. I do feel like there's going to be a booty call coming, Aries. And I feel like for some of you, most of you, you're the one who's going to be initiating it. Passion. Okay, I'm dead, guys. I can't. Told you that Ace of Pentacles, that's what it means. Unless it's business, then it's like a new business opportunity, success, whatever. But when it comes to love, it is straight up like wanting to bang, okay? 
and see what else we got. You're so sexy. I'll do anything. I do feel like they'd do anything for a night with you. So would you. I miss your smile. Oh, I only got three of those. All right. So all very physical and all very sexual. Okay. I do feel like it was very intense physical relationship. I do feel like it might be a situationship for most of you. Um, that's why there was like no trust, right? I feel like commitment never truly happened with this situation, Aries. Trust. Pfft, what did I say? Lack of trust. Okay, there's no trust in this situation. Okay, we're waiting for getting to know each other. So I do feel like it's a very deep connection. I do feel like you guys are definitely going to talk soon. I feel like you guys are going to hook up again. But I don't feel it. I don't see it like coming into a relationship yet. Because you guys don't really know each other that well. That's why there's a lack of trust. Okay, consistency. I do feel like there was a big lack of consistency here. Love triangle. So they may be somebody else in the picture i feel like there's multiple people on us to be um to be honest in the picture that's where the lack of trust came maybe they were like you know like i said i never feel like i don't feel like it was ever official so um like a situation ship like it was never on lockdown so i feel like both of you were maybe talking to other people okay see yeah i feel like that booty call is going to be very unexpected but I feel like you're gonna go for it, or you're gonna win. You're gonna be the one who makes the call. Mm, what did I say? Netflix and chill. That's my that's my card for um. Uh, what did I say? Situationship, casual relationship. So it definitely wasn't committed. I feel like this person is still exploring their options. Okay, and they're just not ready to settle down. Okay, they are gonna pursue you. Um, but it is going to be sex based and they're going to be relentless in their pursuit. Okay. So I do feel like you may be the one who's kind of shutting them off right now. Um, but yeah, to be honest, Aries, I feel sex coming. That's all I see coming sex, getting to know each other. Maybe for some of you, it's going to grow into a deeper commitment, but like who's to say where it's at right now. Right. It, it's very passion driven. It's very sexually driven. I do feel like there's a spiritual connection here. I did say that in the beginning, like depth over distance, but um, you or your person are not ready. And whoever had trust issues in a relationship and was spying were absolutely right to do so, okay? They were following their intuition. Um, I'm not sure if you found something. Actually, pretty sure you did with that 10 of swords that popped up earlier. So, um, that could have been what ended the whole thing. You finding out about other people and seeing that, you know, this wasn't going anywhere. So you kind of removed yourself from that situation, got into your queen of swords energy. It was like, nah, bitch, I'm not playing that. All right. So let's see. I'm so curious. We're like booty calls coming. Okay. <laughs> I can tell you that. Um, you know what? I feel like using this one for that. Um, let's see. What are their intentions coming forward? Yeah, they want to work on this. Six of Wands. Okay, so see, we got Wands here, okay? Spiritual connection. Um, they are going to try to approach you again. They want to work on this. Um, they want... I feel like they want to have a good time. They do see you as somebody they could have a future with, but they're just not ready. They just want to play the field. Oh my God. Okay. And I didn't even say that on purpose. They're in two fields. Okay. He's in a field. She's in a field. Maybe you both want to play the field and it's like, you're really into each other. You feel like there's something deep there, but you're just not ready for more. Okay, let's see. What's their intentions towards Aries? A friendship. So they're going to come in offering you friendship. Ten of Cups. 
See, like I said, I feel like you guys might have to just be friends with benefits for a while while you guys still explore your options, but they want to end up with you. They're going to come in offering you friendship, wanting to work on this, okay? But I feel like if you want to explore it, like play the field too. I do feel like you want this. I do feel like for some of you, you just try to maybe make it more because you don't just want it to be sex because you're not the type of person who just like has sex with someone with like no real um, title. But you know, sometimes life has other plans. I do feel like there's going to be a friendship here and over time it's going to develop into that Ten of Cups and to mutual love and trust and you know, building a family together possibly. So... You need to take it step by step. Like, each person's different. I feel like this person's very slow moving, okay? Even though there's no art card, I am feeling very um, earthy energy. Like, oh, slow progress. Like, they wanted to go slow and still explore their other options, okay? Earth is also very physical. So, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, what's the other one? Why am I blanking? Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. Sorry, guys. Um, yeah, that is just a vibe, like it doesn't have to be, I just feel like, just the energy, their attitude, okay, so what are they actually going to do, ooh, 21, the world, they are coming back in, okay, you guys are unfinished, unfinished, they want to finish up, close up, but I don't feel like they're going to close up. Ooh, they're on the defensive. So you may have been the one that, you know, didn't trust them. So they're defensive. I don't know if you guys have kids together. There's just for a couple of you. You might have, like, kids together. You may be overprotective about the kids. Or you may be. But I, I do feel like, yeah, they're going to be coming in. They might be a bit on the defensive. Especially if you approach them, because I feel like for some of you, you're the one making that booty call. So, they might be like, what do you want? Okay, they're coming in. They're coming in. If, like, for some of you, like, it could be vice versa, right? But somebody's coming in with the quickness. They're coming in strong. Okay, they're, they're coming in. Look at all that fire, too, in the card. Okay, wands. They're, they're coming in. They're passionate. Um, could be a drunk dial, even though we didn't get the card for that. But they're coming in with a little bit of bullshit, okay? Um, they have their own little vision they want to present to you, and they're hoping that you're going for it. Um, yeah. So what should you do? What should you do, Aries? Let's see some advice for you. What should Aries do about their person? You need to focus on your money, focus on work, get your perspective, make sure you don't feel in the dark because, okay, and we have two sevens here, so maybe seven days, seven weeks, maybe even seven hours or seven minutes for some of y'all, but they're going to come in offering this shit, okay, kind of an illusion, Maybe trying to say that they want it to be more than sex, but I can guarantee you that this if, if this is your story and it resonates with you, they're coming in with like offering some dick, offering some pussy. They're not coming in offering what you want. Um, they want to keep you around. They want to keep that door open, but they're still playing the field. So you need to make sure you see that light at the end of the tunnel, that you don't feel like left out in the dark, and that you don't fall for this shit. Okay, if you go into it kind of knowing what it is, um, keep your emotions in check. Keep your heart on lock. If you want to have sex with that person, have your fun, keep them into your life while you both explore your options, then sure. But if you're going to put all your eggs in that basket, just know that their eggs, their eggs is in 17 different baskets. So... Unless you're the one who is like not trustworthy, then like the ball's in your court, right? But yeah, so that's what we got for Aries.